Hello, brother, sister Christ. Just want to do an update on the garden. Uh, a lot of the strawberries down there are coming back pretty strong. Uh, this is my peach tree, and what's on my peach tree, and I can't get it to zoom in properly, but I'm getting leaf curl. I've had to spray it, but if the leaf curl keeps going, all these little buds here, these are going to become four, that looks like four peaches. Um, let's see if we can get over here. Right here, I'm going to get some peaches. Sorry for it's not zoom, just it's doing far away and not close up on the camera. There it goes. There we go. Thank you, Lord. But those are going to be peaches. But those will swivel up if, if the leaf curl starts going crazy over the whole tree. I'll lose all the fruit whatsoever on this tree. Right here, I planted my squash. I've got three of them there, and it'll take over this whole area. Praise God. And they're coming back. These are my grapes. I'm trying to get them to climb the fence. These are my grapes. I got to get back there and trim back behind there. Not the best place, but I don't have much room back here in the backyard to try to do a lot of things. So this is what God's blessed me with doing. Uh, this is my plum tree. All the flowers fell off. We got too much of a cold front, I think, after we got a lot of warm. And the flowers will just fall. And I was hoping to get some plums, but... I didn't get any, I don't think I'm going to get any plums this year. And of course, the strawberries down there went crazy. I got to pull all these and replant them somewhere else because they're growing out on the rocks. That is Declan. That's Declan. The pond is slowly coming back. You can see the white flower there, maybe. And a lot of the stuff will start growing back and it'll, it'll be all beautiful again here in the next month. Right now, it looks like a lot of dead stuff because we had winter time. But you have all the green back there is growing really well. And everything will start coming back and looking good. I got my lettuce on my left side. I got lettuce on the right side. Different types of lettuce. My corn is down there in the middle. And I'm praying for them because corn requires a lot of warm weather. Some of it doesn't look too healthy because we had cold weather than warm, hot, hot weather. Then cold weather than hot weather. We got our leeks in this outer part. There's our celery. And then right here we've got... Um, Broccoli and cauliflower, the white and the green, and they're growing pretty good. I still got space for onions, haven't planted the onions yet, but there's my tomatoes. Over here I got my cabbage, two cabbages. And like I said, there's still a lot of space to plant a lot of um, different types of onions, which I plan on doing, hopefully. We get over here, this is my zucchini. I planted two zucchinis. And these, my asparagus comes back every year. And I've been just letting it grow and get big and, and just really growing. And then eventually, I think next year, I'll start harvesting it to where I can eat half of it and let half of it grow so it keeps coming back every year. But these things have gotten big. These guys are huge. Like that one right there, I could cut this one right here and eat it. I think I might since we've got a lot of the big ones already through there. Um, this kind of got eaten a little bit by some of the um, banana slugs that we have here. But that is my butternut squash, and hopefully it'll take off. we got to get some good warm weather. If it doesn't, I'll try to replace this spot with another squash. Okay. This is another squash. I lost the tag somehow. But I'm trying all these different types of squash out that get really big. So this thing's going to get really huge. It's got the huge squash. These are my potatoes, and they're starting to sprout pretty good. This is another strawberry patch, my main strawberry patch. I use strawberries around the trees as filler uh, to keep weeds from growing and everything. But this is my main strawberry patch, and you can already see holes in some of the leaves, so I'm always fighting uh, banana slugs. Speaking of which, bum bum bum. The banana slug. The banana slug. <sighs> Sorry about that. He got off easy because I'm recording. I just threw him down the hillside. But these banana slugs are relentless. And they've got to be dealt with because they'll come in here and they'll pretty much hurt everything. So my strawberries is another uh, thing of... Um, 
potatoes. We got one growth there, one growth there, I'm waiting for more of it to come through. These are a Jewish root. Um, it's a vegetable, and I forgot the name, so please forgive me. A, a, a neighbor gave it to me two years ago, and these things grow back every year. You can dig them up and grab some of the roots, which is what you eat, almost like a carrot. And um, they last a long time, and they, they just keep coming back and multiplying. So as long as you just do like half, uh, the the half that you leave behind, or you can replant the half that you leave behind, it'll come back very hardcore. So I can't remember what it is. It's some kind of a Jewish root. So, but the main reason for this video is just to show that I am doing the garden. Declan, get out of my garden. Declan, get down. That uh, thank you for the prayers. Because one of the things I ask for prayer on is the garden, the chickens. Uh, you know, and one of the biggest things is just that, uh, God keeps me in the word of God and prayer and li being a verbal witness and a living witness for him. But I just wanted to do a little video of the, the garden. That's supposed to be my herb garden that kind of got out of control. There was three herbs in there and then two of them died and one herb just took off and just took over the whole thing. But these leaves I can use in tea. And make teas out of them and everything, which is what I wanted to have some herbs where I can make tea out of it. But it kind of just took over the whole thing, <laughs> which is good because I can tear off some leaves, dry them. You have to dry them out and then you make tea out of them. This is what you got to watch out for. And then I'm, I'm going to be done. But this is called a wild cucumber. It'll start growing all over the place. And they're not edible. They're kind of poisonous, so you can't eat the cucumbers. But these things will grow in like weeds. And like that is a weed <laughs> that likes to grow in. And I'm having to uh, pull a lot of these weeds and everything. So thank you for your prayers, Brother Sis Christ, for praying for, for the garden. And I just wanted to give you guys a little update. I got the garden kind of started. Here in the next month, I'll plant a few more things. And then everything's planted and good to go. And Declan needs to learn how to stay out of the garden. Um, and uh, we'll just be watering it every morning and taking care of it, like keeping the slugs out of it. And if I need to, I can grab some uh, goat's manure or horse manure from some of the neighbors and put them in with the dirt in the top layer and water over it. And that'll help it also boost it growing pretty well. So grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all and my love for you which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Thank you for watching and thank you for your prayers.